a right, a right, uh, shalom, uh, first and foremost, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechach, Kodash. All right, I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone, which rule well. And I want to give a uh, peace, greetings, and salutations to all the Lekakim that's pushing his word and uh, truth, and, truth and sincerity, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth. You know, and the brothers that's not wavering in the faith, you know, being diligent in his truth. You know, I say shalom to you, brothers, you know. And I say shalom, you know, to the few sisters that believe in all meekness and humbleness. You know, I say shalom, you know, I'm your brother Zakaria from GMS Miami Camp. And Lord willing, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha, Kodash, you know, uh, Adawan Ratazah, you know what I mean? It's Lord willing, you know, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to the elect of the nation Israel, you know. And my lesson today, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha, Kodash, is going to be basically on make no tearing to turn to the Lord, man. All right. All right. We're not supposed to uh, tarry to turn to the Lord. We're supposed to seek the Lord, all right. While he may be found, call upon him while he is near. Let's get that, man. That's our power, man. All right. We don't worship wood and stone. We worship the true power, which his the heavenly father, his name is Yahweh, who the world ignorantly called God. And his only begotten son name is Yahweh Shah. All right, those are the true power. All right, we got to seek the Lord. This book of Isaiah chapter 55 in verse 6, it says, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found, call ye upon him while he is near, because you got to seek the Lord now because there's going to be a time all right, that you're going to be looking for this truth and it's not going to be accessible. All right. You got all these false doctors out there, all this lies and different idol worshipings and different names of the most high that these people are spurring out. But the true names are out there, man. And what the elect is going to attain it, but the rest is going to be blinded. And when, when that time of trouble come, they're going to try to call and seek the Lord, but it's going to be too late. They're going to try to look for the truth, but it's going to be too late. This is the book of Amos chapter 8 and verse 11. It says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. So it's, it's ultimately going to ultimately be a famine as, it's, as a, uh, the Heavenly Father, all right, through, all right, the prophets, all right, spoke of what? Famines. Our Lord Yahweh shall have been spoke of famines. All right, in the last days. All right, so it's going to be an actual famine and it's going to be a famine of the word. Verse 12. It's like it said, they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. So they're going to be looking for the Lord. All right. All right. They're going to be looking for the Lord, but it's going to be too late because why? All right. Proverbs 1. Bear with me. Proverbs 1 and verse 24. Because I called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded it. And the Lord calling by his prophets. But our people, they were refusing. All right. He stretched out his hand. All right. But no man regarded it. But ye have said at not all my counsel and with none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as a des as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when discretion and anguish come upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me, for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. They would none of my counsel, they despise all my reproof. Therefore shall they eat the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whosoever hearken unto me shall dwell safely, and shall be quiet from fear of evil. All right, so there's a, um, there's going to be a great judgment, and those who seek the Lord, they're going to dwell safely. But those who don't, hey, they're going, their fear going to come in out of desolation, man. All right, Lord said he going to um, laugh at your calamity and mock when your fear cometh. All right, because our people don't want the reproof of the Lord. They don't want to hear the words of the Lord because they filled with uh, filled in this folly, man. Babylon the Great, Isaiah, uh, Second Ezra chapter nine, in verse nine it says, "Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully 
shall dwell in torment. So those who refuse the ways of the Lord, you know, cast the ways, the, the ways of Yahweh away, they're going to dwell in torments. It says, for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. Yeah, they get these little benefits, but they're not seeking the Lord. All right. And that they loathed my law, meaning hated my law, while they had yet liberty. And when as place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despise it. The same must know it at the death by pain. So they despise it. So they're going to know um, that must know it at the death by pain. So they're going to know. All right. Once the Lord put them to death in a painful way. All right. Lord said he gave us straight commandments. This book of second Ezra chapter seven. Second Ezra chapter seven in verse um, verse 19 says, and he said unto me, there is no judge above the most high and there slight and none that have understanding above the highest verse 20 for there be many that perish in this life because they despise the law of the most high. That is set before them. And a lot of people are going to perish because why? They don't believe in our Lord Yahweh Shah. All right. They don't believe in the works of Yahweh Bashim Shah. They don't believe all right, our Lord Yahweh Shah uh, came in the flesh to die for Israel. All right. They don't even keep the commandments the best of their ability. All right. So they, so many going to perish in this life. All right. Should say, um, John 3 18 he that believeth on him is not condemned but he that believeth but he that believeth not is condemned already because he have not believed in the name of the only God and son of the most high which is the only God and son's name is Yahweh Shah so people they could they condemn because they just because that's saying well just they're being condemned off the rip because they don't believe on the Lord man off the top all right because the through, through having faith in our Lord Yahweh Shine and rehearsing the righteous acts and you know faith without works is dead, don't doing the work. We're gonna be delivered by our Lord Yahweh Shine. But if you don't believe him, he's not coming to deliver you, man. All the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Second Ezra chapter 7. You know, uh going in. Verse 20 says, There be many that perish in this life because they despise the law of the most high that is set before them. Verse 21. For the Most High, Yahweh Shemashah, have given great commandments to such as come. What they should do to live, even as they can, and what they shall observe to avoid punishment. So the Lord gave us, all right, the, the, the blueprint what to do. Nevertheless, they were not obedient to him, but spake against him and imagined vain things, and deceived themselves by their wicked deeds, and said of the Most High, that he is not and knew not his ways, but his laws have they despised and denied his covenants and his statutes have they not been faithful and have not performed his works. All right. So the Lord is going to judge them because what? They're not following the ways of Yahweh by Shema Shah. Because what? We made a covenant to seek the Lord. Second Chronicles 15 verse 12. And they enter into a covenant to seek the Lord power of their fathers, Yahweh by Shema Shah, with all their heart, and with all their soul. Right, the Hebrew word for heart is lab, which means your mind. And the Hebrew word for soul is napash, all right, which means your, your soul. All right, verse 13, it says that whosoever will not seek the Lord power Israel should be put to death, whether small or great, whether man or woman. So if you're not seeking the Lord, you can get put to death. All right, you can get put to death because that's the whole duty of man. Fear the Lord to keep his commandments and all right. If you're not doing that, you're not even seeking the Lord. You're not even fearing the Lord. All right. You're going to get put to death. Second uh, slot, Ecclesiastes 12 and verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the most high, Yahweh Bashim Shah, and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. For the most high shall bring every work into judgment and every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. So every man's going to have to sit before the judgment seat of the Lord, man. All right. Second 
Second Chronicles five. This is the book of um Second Corinthians, like in five in verse ten. It says, For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Hamashiach, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he have done, whether it be good or bad. Alright, so you gotta all right, have to ju be judged for what you did, man. Verse 11 says, Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto the Most High, and I trust also is made manifest in your conscience. <coughs> so, every man is going to get judged for what he have been doing, man. All right, this is the book of Galatians. So, it's seek the Lord now while he may be found. Don't make no tarrying. Galatians chapter 6, verse 5. Galatians chapter 6, verse seven so like be not deceived for the mo be not deceived yahweh by shima shai is not mocked for whatsoever man soweth that shall he also reap but he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption i mean in death but he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting verse nine it says let us not be weary in well doing so we got to do this work for in due season we shall reap if we faint not yeah we're gonna reap our right, life everlasting all right, we're not going to reap corruption. All right, all right, because we're not making no tarry to turn, but we're seeking the Lord while he may be found. All right, we called upon him now. All right, while the, while the evil days ain't come not. This book of Sirach, chapter 5. I'm going to start at verse 1. It says, it says set, what you're supposed to say in the, in the real, if you, read, if you have the apocrypha, it says, set not thy heart upon thy goods. All right, so we're not supposed to set our heart upon thy goods. We're supposed to set our treasures in heaven. Yeah, we have uh, goods in this life you know, to get us by, but we're not supposed to a, um, um, be overwhelmed in your riches, man. All right? Scripture say, hardly shall a rich man enter into the kingdom, man. All right, that young rich man, he couldn't sell he couldn't sell all he had and follow the Lord. All right, there was some people that, I, some of the disciples that left. The people that was following the Lord, they left. They got offended. All right, they made excuses. All right, Sirach chapter 5, verse 1. So if you have the, the hard copy of the Apocrypha, it says, Set not thy heart upon thy goods. You know, I'm looking at it right now. So I got the, I got a paper form right here. So this is like a misprint. So just know that if you read in Sirach, the fifth chapter. And I think it's another one, uh, Sirach, uh, Second Edges 5. I'm going to show you something real quick. Second Edges 5. If you read it in the pocket, I'm just explaining a little detour right quick. We can go back to the lesson, but if you read second edges chapter the, the fifth chapter, the first verse also. It says on in the in the hard copy, it says, nevertheless, as concerning the tokens. But this second edges five in, in this um this Bible app, it says, nevertheless, as coming the as coming the token in the hard copy says as concerning so you know just that was just a little uh information if it looks weird that those are misprints but anyways going back to the to the uh, lesson is uh sirach or ecclesiasticus chapter 5 verse 1 it says set not thy heart upon thy goods and say not i have enough for my life all right because <laughs> do you know the parable about Actually, let me get that. He says, say to my soul, soul. <laughs> the, the man that had the barns. This book of Luke chapter 12. Luke chapter 12 and verse 15, it says, And he said unto them, Take heed and beware of covetousness, for a man life consists not in the abundance of things which he possesses. So that's not what life consists of, man. Your riches, your abundance, your possessions. Verse 16, and he spake a parable unto them, saying, they certain, they sought the ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifulness. So a rich man, he had land and his crops, he, he had plenty, plentiful, plentifulness, you know. All right, he had abundance. Let me just say that. Plentifully. He had abundance. Verse 17 says, And he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do? Because I have no room where to bestow my fruits. Because he was he had a lot of uh, uh, 
what? The goods. All right. Verse 18, it says, and he said, this will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater. And there will I bestow all my fruits and my goods. And verse 19, and I will say to my soul, soul, thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. <clears throat> and that's the mindset of these people. They think they, they're, they're, uh, they're comfortable. They receive benefits, but they have not known the Lord. They lay it up. They ease. The scripture said, warrant to you that are ease in Zion. All right. I'm going to get that precept. All right. Verse 20 says, but the most I said to him, thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. And who shall these things be? And what which thou hast provided? So Lord said, he's going to take his spirit. All right. Scripture say, um, what can you, you can't ransom the Lord, you know, roughly paraphrasing. When it's time for you to go, it's time for you to go. Verse 21, it says, So is he that layeth up treasures for himself and, and is not rich towards the most high, man. So you got to be rich towards the most high. You're supposed to put the work of the Lord first, not put set your mind on the riches, man. All right. There's a balance. This book of Amos. <laughs> Like Amos chapter 6 in verse 1. It says, Woe to them that are ease in Zion, and that trust in the mountain of Samaria, which are named chiefs of the nation, to whom the house of Israel came, man. So our people ultimately trust in Babylon. Pass ye uh, unto Kadne, and see, and from thence go ye to Hamath, the great, and then go down to Goth of the Philistines, be there better than these kingdoms or the border greater than your border verse three ye that put all sorry, ye that put far away the evil day and cause the seat of violence to come near y'all people put out the evil day they tell our people peace peace when there ain't gonna be no peace man verse four that lie upon beds of ivory and scratch themselves upon their couches and eat the lambs out of the flock and the cows out of the midst of the stall yeah they just eating laying down all right. Verse five, that chant to the sound of the vow and invent themselves instruments of music like David. You know, they singing and dancing, laying down, eating. Verse six, that drink wine and bowls and anoint themselves with the cheap ointments, but they are not grieved for the affliction of Joseph. Yeah, they're not aggrieved All right, for what's going on in our people, man. You got folkies that say in the northern kingdom, not even the northern kingdom. The so-called Latinos and Native Americans are not Israelites. All right? They're bugged out. All right? Because they think everything's good. And they set them, they set their mind on the, on the ways of the world and, and the goods of this place, which is going to come to naught. All right? Sirach chapter 5 verse 2, it says, Follow not thine own mind and thy scrimp to walk in the ways of thy heart. All right, because scripture said, the scripture said the heart is deceitful will deceitful above all things and desperately wicked who shall know it so we said lean not into thy own understanding all right verse three it says and say not who shall control me for my works for the lord will surely revenge thy pride say not i have sinned and what harm have happened unto me for the lord is long suffering and he will no wise let thee go the scripture said though a sinner do uh wickedness a thousand times you know roughly a hundred times all right, eventually the Lord's going to get him. All right, scripture say, because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the hearts of the son of men is fully set in them to do wicked. So our people think the Lord is not going to judge them for their actions. But the Lord is long-suffering. He waiting for you to repent. But if you don't repent, hey, there's going to be a swift judgment. Concerning propitiation, be not without fear to add sin unto sin. Verse 6 it says, and say not his mercy is great. He will be he will be pacified for the most two of my sins. Now, nah, when you sin, you got to repent. For mercy and wrath come come from him, and his indignation rested upon sinners. All right, so the Lord judges you sinners. Scripture say, oh, he hates the sin, not the sinner. Now, nah, you, you sin, you're a sinner, you're going to be destroyed, man. Verse 7 says, make no tarry to turn to the Lord, and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security, security, Thou shalt be destroyed and perish in a day of vengeance. So what we read, when people wait, all right, and, and try to do their own thing instead of 
doing the things of your how about shabbat shah putting off you know there's a great judgment that coming for that coming for those individuals man all right we gotta let the lord um be our first priority man like apostle braka was going into if you're getting a steak sandwich or a burger that steak and that burger the main course where you get like fries and like potatoes the the side orders that's that's the other thing that's your family in life and stuff like that but that main thing is what that that steak all right that t-bone steak or that burger everything else you know we get to it when we not saying we get to it when we get to it but that's every that's outside of the truth man but the main focus is what this word like the lord said my meat is to do the will that, that i that spiritual though my meat is to do the will for them that sent me man and i was yeah man so we gotta have that same mindset as our lord yahweh shah as apostle paul as all the great men of the lord all right as a apostle paul lord lord apostle uh so like apostle peter actually lord we forsaken all that follow thee we're gonna receive a hundredfold i've been calling that scripture a lot we're gonna see a hundredfold judge of the 12 tribes and life everlasting man you know so you know lord within this lesson is edifying you know we gotta pray to the lord that we are part of the elect all right and keep fighting keep doing his work man not putting off day to day seeking our power all right so lord within this lesson uh, was edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. You know, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak, Wadash. All right, I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone, Jerubel. And I want to give all peace, greetings, and salutations to all the Lekakim that's pushing his word and truth and sincerity. Hey, Shalom, Akim, keep pushing, keep it going, Shalom.